Okay, so you like skin. What's wrong with Moshimiwa showing you a bit of skin? I mean, I got skin. Why do you want me to hide it? Hello? I mean... In the realms of public figures in Kenya, Esther Pasaris is a name that evokes various thoughts and reactions. To many, she is known as the women representative for Nairobi County. But there is also a side of her that thrives on sharing captivating snapshots on her social media platforms, often pushing the boundaries of sensuality. While a portion of Kenyans, including the president himself, converged in Kericho County to celebrate Mashuja Day, Esther Pasaris, the Nairobi women representative, opted for a more intimate celebration. Hello, my name is Chief Okuzo from Plug TV. On her birthday, she shared a photo on her Twitter account and it was no ordinary picture. It was yet another enticing display intended to captivate her male followers, oftenly referred as thirsty traps. In the photo, Esther was clad in a light blue shirt, sitting gracefully on the floor with her legs crossed. The shirt, however, flattishly exposed her thighs, leaving nothing to the imagination. Accompanying the photo was a caption that read, Today I celebrate turning 59 with gratitude to God and my parents. I treasure my memories and moments of solitude. I treasure my family, friends and fans alike. Never taking for granted your love. I treasure being comfortable in my skin and loving all of me. She said. As expected, the photo ignited a frenzy of comments on Twitter, with the majority coming from men who couldn't help but express their admiration for her physique. Some went as far as making explicit remarks, even threatening to squeeze every juice out of her. One Twitter user quipped, the horny generation is downloading the photo, then and screen brightness to try and locate the Susu Melon. Highlighting the photo's undeniable allure, another person commented saying, Umeamua bendera zote lazima zisimame siku ya mashuja day. Wow. However, Esther Pasaris is no stranger to finding herself in such online predicaments. She has faced criticism before for what some perceived as seductive and provocative posts. In response to her critics, she has questioned why it is always a big deal for a government official to embrace their sensuality when others have done the same for decades. To emphasize her point, Asa Pasaris even went ahead and repeated such display during public gatherings often tiring reactions from the crowd. When I wake up in the morning, the first thing I say, good morning God, I mean, I love you. I love you because I'm awake. I mean, heck, I could have died in my sleep. God knows you guys stress me so much. My goodness, you call me all manner of names on social media. Uh, and everything I post, I mean, today I saw this lady who was here modeling with her, her slit. And when she did this and she showed you a bit more, you guys went wild. Okay, so you like skin. What's wrong with Moshimiwa showing you a bit of skin? I mean, I got skin. Why do you want me to hide it? Hello? Now the climax of Esther Pasari's seductive images dates back four years when the former Nairobi governor Mike Sonko accused her of being excessively seductive. During their time in Nairobi County, Sonko as the governor and Pasaris as the Nairobi women representative had a public fallout. This escalated when Sonko decided to lecture Esther during the 2019 Madaraka Day celebrations. Ume complain simu zako sishiki. Ulikojaja kwa ofisi ukorana na county secretary kama sishiki. Nikiwa kwa mkutano kama hii siwezi shika simu sababu iko pale nyuma. Nikiwa United Nations siwezi shika simu. Hata mimi sangine napigia rais 
Ashiki Simu na siwezi complain because he's a he's a busy president. Kwa hivyo mimi si bwana yako hata ndio nashika simu sasa wewe unataka. Fed up with Sonko's lecture, Pasaris walked out on him during the celebration, leading to a heated exchange and a string of damaging allegations from Sonko towards Esther. A leaked WhatsApp video call, or rather audio call, allegedly between Sonko and Esther revealed a conversation in which a woman supposedly, Pasaris, disclosed political strategies shared with opposition leader Raila Odinga during the 2017 general elections campaign. In the call, she also solicited 1 million shillings from the person claimed to be Mike Mbuvisonko intended for Raila Odinga. Yes, but he left them to come and sit with me. Uh -huh. So he gave me some respect. He's telling me, oh, you're going to be sitting in these hotels with these men. I told him, Pius, don't get insecure. He tells me, anyway, can I meet Sonko? Uh -huh. So I told him, yeah, I can arrange. Yeah. So he wants to meet you. Okay, let him come. I'll sort is that okay? Uh, yeah, I'll sort but, out his problem. Yeah, but you see, yeah, but the, thing is, Tonko, the thing is, he doesn't want to help me. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you, I'll give you a uh, five hundred. When, when are you going to see Baba? Seven in the morning tomorrow. Okay, I'll give you five hundred today. But how will I? Uh, sorry. In return, she hinted at offering Mike Sonko her affection, which he politely declined. Governor. I am in succeed. Huh? Let me tell you, I must love you a lot to honestly sit in this middle. <laughs> <laughs> no, for now, I don't want you to love me because I have my wife. He did my number to shepherd and I want to acquire as a man. Because after him, I'm a grandma, I say, so I'm the governor of Nairobi, Mr. Kimagram. I don't love me, but I'm still helping. Yes. And you may you may struggle on a jaw. I had to do what I did in your doubt. Huh? In response to the leaked phone call and other social media scandals initiated by Mike Mbuvi Sonko, Esther Pasaris called for Sonko's arrest and the shutdown of his social media accounts, citing his continued harassment of women and the need for him to face legal consequences. And I'm calling on the DCI. As a country, you can block all the social media platforms of that man that has terrorized women in this country with his funny character, low self-esteem that enables him abuse women through social media platforms. So he's using those platforms to abuse women. And our TV stations are giving him airtime. Our print media are giving him airtime. This man, this mad man, if I might call him anything better than that, is actually having a platform on all the social media platforms. So I'm challenging the DPP and the DCI. Close those social media platforms. When he doesn't have that, you cut his power down. That is a total narcissistic man who has no respect not only for the male gender, the female gender, but even children. Nonetheless, when it comes to showcasing her beauty, Esa Pasaris is unapologetic. She revels in the attention that her sincere display garner, particularly her thigh-bearing outfits. At one point, she addressed those labeling her as seductive, asserting almost 55 years and still a queen at rock and roll. This is for the trolls on Twitter who can't get enough of my legs. Can we move on now? Hashtag my dress, my choice. But the big question is, how far is it too far for Kenyan political leaders maybe to behave in a certain manner on social media? Do you think sometimes Kenyans normally give these politicians pressure to behave in, in the way we want them to behave? Ama they are also um they also have the freedom to behave how they want to behave. Leave your thoughts in our comment section. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's me next time. Bye bye.